She was born in the outskirts of Seoul to an American GI and a young Korean woman. He was born in Alsace, France, land of pork and cabbage. She was put up for adoption at three and then lovingly raised in Virginia by her new family. He was 16 when he began his apprenticeship. She found her birth mother when she was 19. When I first met my mother, she'd cooked me this grand feast and um, I hadn't had this food in 17 years and I remembered all these tastes. So for me, it sparked something. Now, Jean Georges and Marja return to her birthplace to chronicle the tastes and traditions of Korea. It was like, this is my connection to know that I was, I'm actually a part of this culture. I, I mean, I knew it mentally, but, you know, in my heart, I didn't, you know, feel that connection until, it, you know, I had something that was recognizable. Korean food isn't shy. <laughs> I think people are behind the eight ball when it comes to Korean cuisine, and not through any fault of their own. I just don't think that it's been given enough attention. This is what we're trying to do with Kimchi Chronicles. It's not a show just about kimchi. It's a show about the food, which I think is a gateway into one's culture. I think it's the easiest way into a culture. Seeing the Amore Pacific Tea Garden for the first time, they're broken up by food groups. We have the Chicken Chronicles, Seafood Chronicles, Green Tea Chronicles. So we'll start off in the region or whatever restaurant that's specializing in this particular chicken dish. We'll talk a bit about how that dish came to be and what goes into it and how you prepare it. And then I bring you back to my home kitchen and I'll show you how I would prepare it at home. Hello, welcome Hi. to my kitchen. Oh, your kitchen. <laughs> I wanted to keep the recipes that I do very traditional in respect of the culture, but I've adapted it to an American kitchen. Not everybody's going to have a stone pot that you cook, you know, bibimbap in, but I'll show you a way that you can do it at home easily. Um, in another version, but still tasting the same with the same outcome. This is the <laughs> basics of Korean cuisine. That's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff. This is all called panchan, and uh, you get different panchans with every meal, but in every meal, for sure, you're going to get rice and kimchi. 